Vince Montero here, and you guys may hear me talk about tacos a lot or total ACOS, which is why I have my monthly training series, Sir Tacos Tuesday, where I answer your questions about PPC, because I do like to talk about it a lot. But there are other ACOS related metrics that really should be better understood to fully gauge the success of your campaigns, and that is your break even ACOS and your target ACOS, which can be two different things. So one thing I get asked a lot about is what should my target ACoS be? What is the goal that I should have for my PPC campaign? And to first answer that question, it's really more important to understand what your break even ACoS is. And not a lot of people really talk about that or are aware of what their break even ACoS should be. And this is really important, especially at launch. The break even ACoS basically just lets you know how much you can spend in PPC without necessarily losing money. So you're not making any sales per se, but you're not losing money at the same time. So why don't we take a look at this as a calculation? All right, so break-even ACoS involves a little bit of math because you're basically trying to figure out what am I going to spend or can I spend on PPC without technically losing any money. So let's give an example based on what a break-even ACoS calculation is, which is the sales price minus your COGS divided by the sales price equals break-even ACoS. So to Break that down, let's just say your product cost $29.99 or $30, but your COGS is 12. And you're going to want to, if you can, include all manufacturing costs, shipping, any other fees that you normally would accrue in this calculation. So once you have that, you basically have the $29.99 minus the $12, which is your COGS per product, which equals $17.99. So you take that, divide that $17.99 divided by $29.99, which is your sales price, and that equals 60%. So that means that your 60% is your break-even ACoS or your break-even point for profit margin. So if you spend that 60% of your sales price, the $17.99, on the PPC, then you won't make money, but you won't lose money. So this is why it's important in figuring out what your target ACoS might be. Really, it's more about finding the right balance, which is at what ACoS are you profitable while maintaining the right amount of impressions. So setting a target ACoS that is too low, for example, especially out of the gate, if it's less than 20% is your goal, well, that's extremely profitable, but you might be missing out on more impressions that may lead to more sales. And this is basically over-optimizing. You're shooting yourself in the foot by having a target ACoS that is too low. If you go too high, let's say higher than maybe 60%, you're maximizing all your spend, you're maximizing all your impressions, but you'll likely be losing money if your ACoS target is too high. So again, that's why it's important to find that right balance between too low of an ACoS target and too high. So that's why it's important to understand break even ACoS, because I think that's important at launch to understand the difference between the two. So we've already gone over the differences between break even and target a cost, whereas one is, again, the pro tip here is use this at launch to ensure you collect enough data without losing money. When you've launched your campaigns, it is super important to make sure that you're collecting data. If you don't do this calculation, you might hear me say a lot of times, just go with 100% a cost at the beginning, because you know that 100% is a much easier calculation, but the point is, and the goal is that you are collecting data at launch. The target ACoS really should be a different calculation after you're out of the launch phase. Your launch phase, again, is your data collection mode. It could be two weeks, three weeks, if you can do four weeks after launching a campaign. That's when you have the data to then optimize things down and figure out what your target ACoS could be. You can't do that if you don't have enough data. And if, for example, you go with too low of an ACoS target at the beginning. So now what's the difference between ACoS versus tacos? This might be repetition for some of you guys that watch my videos, but I just want to make sure it's very clear that PPC is not just about the sales you make from PPC, right? It's about the branding effect that it has on the shoppers, just like a commercial or an ad or a billboard on the side of the road. The more a shopper sees your product in an ad, the more likely they're going to remember it and recognize it the next time that they do a similar search. Now, this process helps increase organic sales as well, because maybe they'll come back and remember your brand name and they might type that in instead. So since we do know that PPC helps with organic sales, we definitely should consider those metrics in our calculations to gauge if PPC is being effective. 
And that is where the total ACOS or the tacos comes into play. So whereas ACOS is just PPC spend divided by PPC sales, your tacos is PPC spend divided by total sales, which is organic plus the PPC sales. So what is another question I get? <laughs> What's the tacos goal to shoot for? Well, if once you analyze the data and, and you're looking at organic and sponsor performance, you can then leverage that and then say divided by your PPC spend, maybe a 10 to 50% tacos is pretty good. Advertising and organic performance are balanced and the profits are great. Again, you don't wanna over optimize with tacos as well. So below 10%, that's extremely profitable but you might be missing on more sales that you could gain by increasing your advertising. So that simply means if you're below 10% or maybe 10 to 15%, depending on how comfortable with your spend, you might wanna increase your spend on your PPC because you do have margin to increase. Above 20%, if that is your tacos, that's almost a goal that you might have just for your regular ACOS goal. So definitely, if it's above 20%, that is not a good tacos in general. Again, it depends on your product. Every product's different. All your margins are gonna be different. But generally speaking, a tacos of above 20% is not good. And you're gonna to want to optimize your campaigns more so that you're closer to your goals. So hopefully that gives you a kind of clearer picture of the differences between, you know, an ACOS, a regular ACOS, which is a target ACOS, a break-even ACOS, which you should use at launch, and then what your total ACOS or your tacos goals should be. Now, if you're not using software to figure out, pull in your organic data, there are tools out there like Helium 10, they can use Keyword Tracker to actually get your organic and sponsored rankings and compare that against your PPC results, maybe on specific keywords. But in general, you should be able to go into Amazon, download your business reports on a monthly basis, look at your total sales in that given month, and then look at the month of PPC spend. And you can figure out what your tacos is. And you can break that up into weeks as well. So just it's a little bit of a longer process if you're using it in Amazon, because you have to look at those business reports to get your total sales to then divide against your PPC spend for that given period. Hope that video helps. And if you like these and the other ones that I do, please make sure you hit like and subscribe. <laughs>